In this video, I'm going to show you why Nickel Normal is the best defense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. It's free to do that. Let you know when we put new content on the channel. Also, I do want to let you know that the most effective way to run Nickel Normal is broken down in my Nickel Normal guide on my Patreon membership. So if you want to sign up for that, it's only $10 to become a member. And the cool part about being a member is you're going to get access to not only the Nickel Normal ebook, you'll also get access to every and all of our Madden 22 strategy guides. In addition to that, you'll also get access to our weekly pro tips that we put in there every single week. We just released a brand new defense in there as well this week on the Dime uh, the dime normal defense and that's why I love nickel normal and it, it really is a similar principle if you will we're going to talk about it in this video but the real beauty of nickel normal is found in really two main reasons number one it has every coverage you can ask for every match coverage you want is in there every zone coverage you want is in there every package you want is in there and you can get really good personnel in this formation. So that's kind of a lot, checks a lot of boxes. The other th reason why is because it allows you to send what I would say is the best pressure in Madden, or at least the best pressure concept that you can apply to this formation if you have a good user. So what you're gonna do here, and I'm just gonna show this against Bunch, and we're gonna come out in the play. Let's see if we got uh, curl flat or corner strike, just something simple. Uh, we'll come out and curl flat. Now, you can come out in any play you want out of nickel normal. So again, they have all of the match stuff that I love. I've talked about this a lot this year. Match coverage, to me, is the best way to play defense in Madden 22. But they also have a tried and true blitzing concept that is really effective. And the real beauty of this formation is also in the alignment that you can create. You can't do this in any other formation in the game um, that is not named nickel normal. Nickel 335 wheel doesn't work like this. 335 Sam doesn't work like this. A uh, big nickel over G doesn't work like this. That's one of the many reasons why I love this defense. It literally checks every box for me, has every coverage, every blitzing concept. It literally is everything within one formation. And so I want to walk you through this. Now you can set this up two different ways. I'm going to show both of them in this video. If you want to learn the rest of the defense, like I said, it's in my membership. So the first way that we can set up our defense out of nickel normal is kind of a double a gap approach to defense. And the way that that's going to work is we're just going to pinch our defense, crash our line out, blitz our linebackers. And then from there, we can just use the safety over the guard and kind of lunge at the guard, if you will. And essentially, we're going to get really, really fast pressure. Now, we could put a zone out here and have a little coverage. But what you'll see is we should get double edge pressure real fast. As you can see, super fast double edge pressure. Now, for the purpose of the video, sometimes if you didn't know this in Madden, if you have edge threat or if you have an ability on your defender, sometimes it can mess with their blitzing angles. I'm talking about a pass rushing ability or like, like inside stuff even does sometimes mess with it. But primarily it's edge threat because they kind of target a little bit differently. So again, just simple thing right there, but did want to point that out. And the beauty of this is I can do this from a lot of different stuff. So I can do it from Overstorm Brave. I can do it from cover one linebacker blitz if I want to have a little bit different of an alignment a little bit more effective of an alignment kind of like the cover one hole uh defense if you will so again let me just grab if i can find the the overstorm brave i think i passed it already let me see here cover one linebacker blitz and then let's see if we can find overstorm brave just throw that in the audibles and then like i said we're gonna be teaching out of the nickel blitz too and then you can like you can also the beauty of this is I can have a couple different cover three shells that I might want to have. For example, I could do a you know a cover three cover three match kind of kind of deal. So like just a simple cover three match. I could also do a cover three sky where the safety does rotate over. And I'll see if I could find that. That's a cover three sky defense. And then like I said, I can kind of base out of a two high look. So this gives me a lot of different you know things I can do. So let me show you. So I go cover three match. Notice it looks just like that cover two blitz. And now I'm just gonna do that right there. And now we basically have the hard flats covered. We have the safety over the top. And then I'm just simply sitting right here and I can either sit here 
or I could kind of stand right here and just shoot out to the flat. And again, we get really fast pressure. They're going to have to max protect to block this. I'll show you it again here. And that's the whole beauty of the nickel normal defense. It's literally just a massive, massive pressure, um, you know, and you're going to have a field day with this defense. So here I'm going to block the tight end. You'll notice we're still going to come free. We're still going to be sending it every single time. It doesn't matter. So we can do it that way. Another way that we can do it is we could leave this safety up here if we wanted to. And so what we could do is we could blitz and we can now kind of incorporate our nickel corner based off of whatever the formation is. So I could do something like this, keep my safety up top, and you see we're going to get double pressure off of that edge. And if they block their tight end or if they block their running back, it's not going to pick up the pressure. I'll show you that real quick. I've got nickel blitz too. We're just going to crash our line up, blitz our linebackers. I'm simply going to stand kind of right in here, if you will. And what you'll see is if I block my tight end, this nickel corner is going to glitch him out and he's still going to come in. It's not going to matter what they do from a pass protection perspective. In order to pick these blitzes up, they absolutely have to max protect. And even then, it does sometimes come in. It definitely sheds really fast. And so it's an easy way to force max protection. Now, another thing, another way that you can set this blitz up, so I'm going to give you three different variations of it. And this last one is my, my personal favorite because it creates balance in the run game, simplifies your user, and there's some ways you can get some really glitchy pressure, which I'm gonna show at the very end of the video. So just shift your linebackers away from your nickel corner, crash your line out, blitz your linebackers, and you're gonna stand again over the center. What you're gonna notice is look, we have double edge pressure coming. And what does that look like to you? It looks exactly like the 4-3 even 6-1 defense, which is arguably one of the better defenses in the game. The only problem with it is they don't necessarily have the best coverage scheme. And so as you can see right here, we can send super heavy pressure. Now, where this really gets good this year is you can literally look exactly the same but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna send our pressure from the inside. So we're gonna blitz Lancaster and we're gonna blitz Lowry. And then what we're gonna do on this backside is we're gonna go with a vertical hook defender to, or a three rec hook zone to Smith. We now have the ability to put, you know, kind of just a basic cover two, if you will. And then on this backside here, we got a vertical hook uh, a cloud flat and we can double flat or Mabel the trip side. So you see here, this becomes a really good coverage with a vertical hook. And so guess what? They're going to block tight end. They're going to block running back. And now look at this coverage. You've got max coverage and you're going to get double, double team splitters. If you have good pass rushers right there, that is going to absolutely be incredible for you. Let's say your opponent, let's say you're watching this video and you're like, you know, that's a great tip, but my opponent is using two post up defenders. If they are using two post ups on their guards, one of my favorite little tricks um, that I like to run is we're just simply going to bluff blitz this guy and we're going to not put this guy on a hard flat. So we have a vertical hook, a cloud, we have a bluff blitz, and we still have our coverage safe over the top. And now, as you can see here, we're gonna send three and the post-ups aren't gonna be able to stop it. And you're gonna see, you're gonna get nice one-on-ones and you're gonna get a quick shed. So that's how you can kind of combine a coverage element with a passive or with a pressure element. Now, the last thing that I wanna break down in this video, and then like I said, for everything else, you can go over to the Patreon. But notice this out of cover one linebacker blitz. Notice how the safety comes over here and he kind of plays like that. And then you're gonna be down here, okay? So again, this is I, uh, this is so good for getting double pressure. As you can see, if they send five out, you're getting double pressure every time. What you can do is audible to cover three sky. And what you all you wanna do is man align. If you man a line out of cover three sky, it literally looks basically exactly the same as cover one LB blitz. And now if you take a look here at the coverage, notice what I have. I have really, really, really good underneath coverage to the left side of the screen. And then all I'm worrying about is something quick to the right. If I'm really worried about the seam, I can put that safety that is over there. I can put him in inside third and then put a hard flat to the slot corner. And again, you're seeing the double pressure. It's super hard to make a read that fast. It really is. Um, and so as you can see, that's a great way to kind of combine man and zone with the cover one LB blitz. Last thing I want to teach you today, and that is a two man rush that I absolutely love. So let's say for example, that they have double post ups. You don't want to rush from the middle. You now want to leverage your outside. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So it's really, really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to slide this guy in a little bit and blitz him. Now notice he is on a contain. And so we're going to run a QB spy to our DT 
a bluff blitz to this guy on the backside, and then we're gonna zone accordingly. So you see it might look something like this, if you will, from a coverage perspective. And then I just like to go ahead and blitz my user. Now, another little pro tip that you can use is if you want to, you can bluff blitz this guy and only send three people. But typically what you'll see here is if they send five out, a lot of times I'm able to get that guy to come in off of the outside edge. And I'll show that one more time. It's not 100% consistent, but it is something that I like to do, again, primarily uh, if my opponent is, you know, just kind of like, you know, throwing the ball a lot or or, you know whatever they're just they're just really not um you know they're, they're not blocking extra people and this is a little passive rush that i really really like again all you gotta do is get them on the contain and then you know you can kind of mess with where you stand but if you can kind of suck these guys in at you a little bit a lot of times this rush is really good you'll get it'll help you a lot with double um or post ups another little pro tip with this that you can use is instead of crashing them if you're in nickel blitz three um, or Nickel Blitz 2, I apologize. See how I can just, you don't want him to be too far inside. That's really the, the critical thing with this. If he's too far inside, it won't work. But like something like this right here, where you have kind of this little, you know, natural deal. And as you can see, again, didn't get the Blitz to come in completely free. But in our Patreon, we walk through this a little bit more in depth to show you how to get it to come in. But it's a very, very good Blitz for you. Um, and again, it counters everything so well. Um, so something simple like this is really, really effective. What I like to do, last thing, is, I mean, the four-man version is really good. So if you just literally bluff blitz this guy, vert hook, cloud flat, you don't even have to blitz your user anymore. You know, just something simple like this. A lot of times this is going to, as you can see right there, come in off the edge. And that's a contain rush, which is really, really good. And then the other thing that I didn't point out that I just want to tail into this, show you one last concept that is really good. And this is where I say it combines everything. If I come out and play Buck Slant Show 2, what you're going to notice here is if I QB contain, you're going to notice, look at what just happened. You see here that Savage is on the contain. And then now what we can do is easily zone out this defender right here. So something super, super simple. Literally just do that right there. That's all you have to do. And then you're going to make it look exactly the same. Maybe, you you know, I wouldn't pinch my line. I'd leave this guy out. But what you'll see is now you have a contain looper coming right through the B gap. Really, really effective little blitz. Another simple thing that you can do with this is you can kind of like move this guy and then flip your play and then do the contain. What you'll see with that is now you see that, guess what we just created? We created the perfect contain loop. And as you can see there, a little three man nano blitz for you out of Buxley at three. So the beauty of nickel normal is it combines because you can shift your linebackers. It has all the coverages. You can move your defense in all different directions and it combines the best pressure concepts. It doesn't get weak boxed. And in my opinion, like I said, it's just the best defense this year. So if you wanna learn everything about this defense, it'll be linked in our Patreon membership. Everything is in there, all of the coverage breakdowns, all of the pressure breakdowns, the run defense, we didn't even get a chance to talk about that. But like, let me just show you really abbreviated version of this. But when you, when you create this even 4-3 even type front, this is really, really, really good for being able to shoot the run or at least contain it. There, I didn't do a great job of shooting it, but it's really easy to stop inside zone. It's it's fairly easy as well to stop like a base or a counter. You just got to kind of, you know, a little bit wiser in terms of that. But as you can see there, just missed the dive, but you see the idea. So everything's broken down on the Patreon. Huge, huge defense for me this year. It's been a great defense at Madden for years. It's so balanced. This year, I think it is much better than people realize. So if you want to learn everything about Nickel Normal, link is in the description below. And uh, again, you get everything for 10 bucks, man. You get all the eBooks, all everything. This can be ran combined with wide. It can be ran, it can be ran very well with the four six playbook. It can also be ran by its own. It can be combined with double A gap. Um, so much you can do with this defense, literally so much. So if you want to learn everything about it, there's a link in the description below and you can click on that. It'll take you right over to the membership where you can get checked out and get all the material you need to run this incredible, incredible defense.